Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a you and them love reading. So we're going to look at what's going on in your connection, the energies between you, how you feel about each other, what are you thinking about each other or the connection, all of that will be in this reading. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So just take that into consideration, take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Um, you can also check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate for you, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, any other sign of significance for you. All of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box if you want to check them out and see what other messages there are for you. So let's jump right in for Sagittarius, spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, insight please for Sagittarius regarding love, relationships. What does Sagittarius need to know? regarding the person they're thinking about connecting with at this time. What do they need to know, Spirit? We're going to start with what's going on in your connection, what's going on at this time for Sagittarius. What's going on for them in love, in their connection at this time, Spirit? What's going on for Sagittarius at this time? Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So you're waiting for something or having doubts that something will come to pass. Maybe you are worried, anxious about the future. This could also be your person because both of your energies are here. Yeah, Eight of Wands reverse. So something's not really moving. Um, there could be like a feeling that there's no communication, no progress, no action being taken. Um, and that's this probably causing doubts or anxiety. You could be waiting on this person. This person could be waiting on you. For something that's way too many what else for Sagittarius what's going on for them in the connection at this time what's going on for Sagittarius what's going on king of swords reverse so this could be um, someone that is deceptive um, tough to deal with tough to talk to difficult to um, interact with this could also be um, symbolizing someone that's not communicating or being upfront or being open. Um, so we'll have to clarify that and see. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So, you know, and this is something that I've already been, I already kind of posted this on my channel um, recently, actually, that there's a lot of astrological shifts taking place for all signs. Hmm, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, okay. Um, everybody's having a difficult time and there's this common theme of moving on transitions change eruptions in your life um, and it's happening for everyone because of what's happening in the skies now I'm not an astrologer <laughs> so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt you know feel free to look up what's you know what you can expect for your sign astrologically but from what I can see there's nobody getting away with anything. <laughs> I mean, there's no one kind of like not being affected is kind of what I'm trying to say. So it's making sense, this common theme that I'm getting in a lot of the readings that I've been doing recently, all of the you and them readings. It's been, you know, departures are coming up a lot. Um, towers are coming up a lot. Revelations are coming up a lot. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if this is just another reading where a departure is kind of looming for first for either you or for your person okay tell me about this seven of pentacles what's the seven of pentacles about six of pentacles so you're waiting to be given something this could be confirmation that you're waiting for this could be a gift that you're waiting for a promise um it's like you know this idea of someone extending a hand out to, to you um, you could be waiting for someone to give you back something in return, the same thing that you've put in to this connection. Maybe like you've been open with this person and they haven't been as open, you know? So I feel like you're kind of waiting for something. You could also be waiting for a situation to balance out. No, this is information, King of Swords. So this King of Swords reverse is possibly somebody that's not giving you this information or you're not getting information from someone. Let's see, I have the Two of Wands here and the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands keeps coming up. No matter what reading I'm doing, <laughs> the Four of Wands keeps coming up. And the Four of Wands is typically a card about 
stability in the home, uh, domestic bliss, harmony in the home, harmony in your um, comfortable sp or the, the space where you feel the most comfortable. Um, this could be something tied to a house. Um, there could be a lot of moving happening here because someone's thinking about the future or a different path with the two of wands. Um, the four of wands is also a card about rites of passage, celebrating like a stepping stone or certain stage that you're headed towards. But I have a feeling that this, because the eight of cups is at the bottom of the deck here, that this is more about um, home and wanting to either move on from that place or have something happen in the home that's more stable, right? More, more balanced. I feel like you need confirmation. A lot of you are waiting for like the green light or for someone to tell you something or to hear something just from someone's like mouth. Um, not that you're finding it out, but that you're hearing it from them directly. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. There's a lot here. Six of wands. Okay. So I have a feeling that in your mind, you're hopeful for success. You're hopeful for things working out. However, there's doubts now, there's anxiety, there's something that's not quite right or isn't happening the way that you expected it. Because the Eight of Wands is reverse. The King of Swords is reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Wands reverse. What's going on here? Death, Scorpio energy. <sighs> Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like... Um, there's, again, this theme of change, transitions, transformations. That's the death card. I feel like something's changing here. Maybe things are not moving forward or there's no communication because there's changes happening. What can you tell me about this Eight of Wands reverse? What can you tell me about this Eight of Wands reverse? There's the Eight of Cups again. Yeah, this is... I feel like you or someone else is headed towards a departure, moving. There's the cherry at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. One of you is leaving something. Um, you could be leaving this connection, Sagittarius. They could be leaving this connection. Um, maybe you're leaving something outside of this connection, but it's affecting how your connection is doing. Um, I have a feeling that there is, it's almost like this is, um, I'm getting this energy of uh, you cannot avoid this. There's a word for that, but I can't think of it right now. So I'm just telling you what I'm, <laughs> what, I, what I'm thinking about. There's, there's this energy of this was going to happen no matter what. Some of you already knew this was going to happen. That's why you're so worried or anxious and kind of having doubts, despite the fact that a part of you is still hopeful, right? Um, but the reality is probably very different. So what's up with this King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reversed? The Chariot and the Fool. Wow. Okay. So again, the Chariot shows up and there's a Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I mean, I cannot make this up. <laughs> the message is the message, Sagittarius. Unfortunately, the Ten of Swords is telling me that this is not going to be an easy ending for you or for this person or for this connection. However, this ending is tied to a new beginning, a new cycle, whether you see it or not, or whether you believe in that or not, that's that's what I'm seeing. The chariot and the fool. I mean, there's only one real way you can interpret that. Taking that risk, that leap of faith, going on a new journey, a new beginning forward. The chariot moves forward. The chariot is on a, on a trajectory of success. So this is a good thing. However, it might not feel like a good thing because the Ten of Swords is here. The King of Swords is reversed. Um, some of you, this could be somebody that outright lies to you and you find out and it brings about an ending. Um, others of you, the, the person that you're dealing with is not cooperating or is not treating you right. This could be somebody that's causing problems um, making the situation worse rather than better. And I think that this is why this Ten of Swords is here. Um, you cannot work together with a King of Swords reverse. There's no such thing. Um, I feel also like this King of Swords reverse could just be deception. It does not have to necessarily be your person. 
but maybe your person could be an angel that lied to you. Um, regardless, it's the same, you feel the same way about it, um, or it brings about the same outcome. Um, so it's, I, I hate to say it, but I feel like Sagittarius, you're in that group that's also going to have difficulties because of what's happening astrologically. I just can't seem to escape this, and I'm using different decks and stuff like that, cleansing the decks, and it's still the same kind of message. So let's see how you're feeling about each other. We have a lot of repeating messages here. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, um, King of Swords showed up, the Chariot showed up twice. So I think this is probably going to be a reading where the message is very clear. Um, might not be the happiest message, but it's a very clear message. So let's jump into how you feel about each other. Spirit, can you get some insight into Sagittarius and this other person? What are they thinking, feeling? What are the energies between Sagittarius and this person? Sagittarius, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if it resonates more for you. Can I get some insight for Sagittarius? Parting ways. <laughs> okay. Parting ways. Separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. Sagittarius, unfortunately, I feel if you are in a connection with someone, there could be a separation on the horizon. And I hate that because this is a difficult separation. This is that Ten of Swords. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with. What is Sagittarius? Um, or what is this person thinking, feeling towards Sagittarius, I should say? What are their energies towards Sagittarius? Okay, we have coming together. Well, that's two very different energies. Like that's literally the opposite. This is coming apart. This is coming together. You're not on the same page with this person or this person could be wanting to come together after a separation. Can I get an energy for both Sagittarius and this person? I haven't done this for anybody else, but I wanna do it for you. Tell me about both of these energies here, Sagittarius and this person. What can you tell me about the connection, the energy in this connection? Walking away and secret admirer. Yeah, I feel like there is definitely a departure here. A departure that's happening between you. Hidden motives is at the bottom of the deck. There's something here that's been hidden from you or you've been deceived. I mean, I, I, I feel like there's only one way you can really interpret that. Someone's walking away because of what hasn't been said or communicated or because something is not the truth. Maybe they've had hidden motives. Maybe they just mistreated you or took advantage of your love your interest in, in innocence your trust etc okay let's get a secret moon for both of you i don't know this secret could be i, I don't think it's a harmless secret sagittarius it's a secret that's big enough that it's causing a separation or it's the nail in the coffin can i get some insight into how sagittarius is thinking feeling spirit in this connection at this time what can you tell about what sagittarius is thinking feeling i'm ready to open up this could be what your person is telling you i have a feeling that you've been very open and like a willing participant here. And I don't know if you're getting that in return. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their thoughts, feelings towards Sagittarius, towards this connection? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. Um, I have a feeling too that this person is afraid to tell you just the truth. Not, not necessarily how they're feeling for you or towards you, but the truth about something. Some of you could be dealing with a person who ha is just will not step up to the plate. They will not extend that hand of I'm interested in you. I want to fix things or I want to be with you. You've been waiting for this. It hasn't happened. And I think some of you are ready to just cut your losses and leave this person in the dust. I don't think you want to wait anymore for this person. Some of you, I'm getting this energy of 
you're thinking if if you know that theme of um this is like a tiktok thing where if he wanted to he would or if she wanted to she would that's kind of the energy that i feel a lot of you are having if it was meant to happen if this person really was meant to be your person they would have acted already or they would have told you something already and since they're not doing it i think you're ready to be like bye i think this person might open up and it's too late or they might want to open up to you and it's not enough it's just not enough let me get one more and then we'll look at the tarot for both of you can you get another energy please for sagittarius for this person what do we need to know spirit tell me about sagittarius what do we need to know on their end sagittarius privileged lady yeah you have so much to offer you have so much value this is kind of like the nine of pentacles someone that is they have it all they have it together they're very attracted attractive or bring or people are attracted to them um they look good they have a lot going for them very independent personality is there looks is there everything is there I think Sagittarius, a lot of you are waking up to the fact that you deserve more. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their energies? What are their energies the person Sagittarius is dealing with? Pathway. Wealthy man. Okay. So this person is possibly, um, I think they're still on a journey. That's what I'm getting. Normally this card is about kind of, actually, let me look at this. The actual book for this card in case there's anything that might stick out for someone watching um, because there's a lot of um, messages with this card but the message that I got right away is this person still walking like I'm picturing someone still walking on a path and you're already at your destination The destination can't quite be seen, but it looks like there's a pleasant patch of sun after the climb. Um, a long road, distance, a good length of time. Um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, slow growth, long-term planning, um, a long road ahead, physical distance, a long, long time. So yes, that's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. Um, this person is super slow. Um, they're still on a journey here. Yeah, look at this. Wealthy man, poverty, mature man, sudden wealth. This person, I feel, is very focused on finances, career. Um, there's the coffin right after that. Um, I feel like this person is more worried about money and material goods and how things look than they are about um what truly matters i think this person's doing has a lot of growing up left to do um i feel like this person is focused on um you know i don't know it's almost like uh you are second third fourth in the list of priorities for this person but you are at a different level at this time you've already done your growth period or at least for this cycle you have reached your destination this person's not there yet so i you know that's why i feel the coffin is here this is somebody that they're they might tell you that things are moving they might tell you they might make promises but the reality is that they're still walking so i'm going to take your energies out here um, with the tarot and their energies as well i'm just going to do it all at once can I get some insight, please, on the messages, energies you have for Sagittarius and this other person? What do we need to know, Spirit, about Sagittarius and this other person, the energies between them, and what's going on with them at this time? Tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. Okay. 
Okay, so that's a lot, but I'm gonna take them actually. Five of Swords, Reverse, Death, again, Scorpio Energy. Five of Cups, The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Seven of Pentacles, yikes, okay. You're the one waiting. That's clear now to me. Um, you're the one waiting. You're the one having regrets over the past. You're the one possibly ready to cut something loose. Um, I feel like you've been tied to this person or feel a strong connection to this person that keeps you around. Uh, maybe you just haven't been able to really let go of this person, this connection, because of what you feel or the past you have between you, something like that. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, and Earth sign. Um, I feel like part of you is, is um, you're torn in two directions. So part of you wants to reconcile, overcome the conflict, the difficulty, the fighting, or whatever has happened between you, the deception. The other part of you is tired of always being disappointed. And in the middle is death. I feel like a lot of you are realizing you can't keep this up. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. Yep. Okay, tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with. What do we need to know about the person Sagittarius is dealing with? What are their energies towards Sagittarius, towards this connection? We have the Page of Wands reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles. Page of Swords, they're just not stepping up to the plate, I feel, they're just not there yet. Chariot Reverse, exactly. Cancer Energy, I'm gonna get one more because you have five, so let's see what else we can get for them. Notice that they have pages and one of them is reverse, so they can't even do the minimum. What else for this person? What else do we need to know for this person? Knight of Swords, oh, well, at least we have a Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords, yeah. This person is not at your level, Sagittarius. And, you know, I hate to be like, I don't like doing readings where I'm bashing anyone or, you know, um, what's the word, um, judging anyone or, you know, I don't like to do that. But I do like to be honest. I don't like to sugarcoat things in readings or tell you what you want to hear or like put a positive thing, spin on something that is not positive, you know. Um, this person is not going to move and they're not going to take action. Um, they might talk to you. I have the Knight of Swords, Page of Swords here. They might be honest with you about something, but they're not going to actually act on anything. Page of Wands is reversed. The Chariot is reversed. Even if they talk to you about something, the Four of Pentacles is here, which tells me they're probably not going to tell you everything anyway. They're going to hold back something or be on pro in protecting something. They're going to try to protect something. Be guarded with you, even if it appears that they're being very honest and upfront. You know what I'm saying? Seven of Swords is here. I feel like this is someone that is strategic about what they tell you. This is someone that could lie through a mission. They're not lying to you directly, but they're lying by holding back. You know what I mean? So let's get some clarity for... I'm not going to clarify all of these, but for... A lot of these energies um, can get some clarity please, for Sagittarius. What do we need to know about these energies? Please, spirit? Tell me about this devil energy. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Six of Swords. I can't make this up, Sagittarius. <laughs> You're leaving. You are on the move. You're moving on. Period. If you're watching this reading and you're like, I don't want to move. On, I mean, you could flip this. Feel free to flip this if it's resonating more for you. But I feel a lot of you are leaving this situation behind. This attachment behind. This toxicity or negative um, energy behind. A lot of you are just done. And... If that's not resonating with you and it's not resonating for the person you're dealing with, then this is probably not your reading because it's just such a, the message is over and over and over again, the same message, <laughs> you know, 
Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you might have hesitations or anxiety over the future. What now? What now is what I'm hearing? What now? What am I going to do now? Yeah, Two of Wands. What's the future look like? Which path should I take? Where should I go? I feel like you have options. The Hermit at the bottom of the deck. You're thinking really long and hard about this. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut, Sagittarius. If you have no clue where you're going, listen to that inner voice, that tiny little voice deep down that maybe you've been ignoring. Tell me about the death card. Tell me about death. Why is death here? The Hermit. Virgo energy. Why is death here? I want one more. Why is death here? Why is death here? Yep, the devil. Capricorn energy. The devil shows up again. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn in their chart. I think this is just you really thinking about ending a difficult attachment or, or, or a strong bond or a strong tie that maybe... Maybe you took a wrong turn somewhere in the past that led you to this moment where you're not happy, you're not successful, or you don't feel appreciated, and there's just more regrets than there is good times and good memories. I think a lot of you are being honest with yourselves, Ace of Swords, or you have information now that maybe you didn't have before. You know I mean, this is clarity. This is the truth. The Ace of Swords is like looking at something with clear and honest eyes you there is no rose colored glasses here there's no illusions here there's nothing with um looking at the bright side of things or you know that that's not the ace of swords the ace of swords is almost like something you can't really a truth that you can't really look past or a truth that you can't really ignore you know because it's just such I don't know. It's just such an important truth. It's such an important... It's, it's like... This is what you needed. You needed to look at something for what it was. And maybe it took some time, but you're here now. Seven of Cups, Judgment, and the Eight of Cups. Look at that energy. You're, you're awake. <laughs> and I, I don't know if it was you that had that kind of reading. You've been trying to figure things out. You Maybe you were confused at some point, but you're not confused now. Maybe there was illusions here with the Seven of Cups. Maybe the choices weren't the best ones. But you're walking away towards a new cycle. Because after judgment is the world. After the world is the fool. I think you're going to be very happy in this new cycle, Nine of Cups. I don't think you can see that right now, but that's kind of reassurance. Um, things will work out for you. Um, Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles. I think a lot of you are feeling... Um, it's like when you make a decision that's very difficult and you know deep down it's the right decision, but you still feel empty. That's what I'm getting here. Um, or you're still feeling... A loss you know like you have experienced a loss and even though you did it to protect yourself and you did it because it was the smart thing to do it still hurts tell me about the page of wands let's switch to your person oh okay hang on I don't know what's going on with my deck today page of wands reversed okay four of swords well that doesn't surprise me Six of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this person, you know, this is somebody that perhaps showed you, I don't want to say breadcrumbed you, but they showed initi some initiative on working on things or I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, or um, perhaps they're just too focused on work. You know, some of you are dealing with a, like a workaholic or someone that their work is consuming everything that they do, like they have no time for anything. But others of you, I feel like this person showed you like a sliver of, yes, I'm going to do something. But it's more of a four of swords. I think the, the this person realized that you needed some sort of confirmation. And so they kind of jumped to try to give you that. But it doesn't mean that it actually came with 
real action behind it. You know, that makes sense. Tell me about the Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords here? Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords here? Nine of Cups. Can you get one more for the Page of Swords, Knight of Swords? Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person in an ideal um, situation, they would be with you. Uh, they recognize your worth. This person knows that you are this privileged lady, this Nine of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be a female, but you have something special. There's something about you that draws this person that, you know, you're probably very attractive. Um, you probably have a lot of suitors or people interested in you, a lot of friends or something like that. It's like this person knows that already. They wish they could have you. They they want to have you and they have emotions here tied to you. They're going to tell you this. But once again, this is words. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. These are words. These are not, this isn't movement or action. Tell me about the Chariot Reverse. And I have a feeling this person is very honest, being very honest about this, about how they feel towards you. Tell me about the Chariot Reverse. Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person wants, I mean, if they could, they, in their mind, if they could make a move, they would make it right away. But there's something that's holding them back and they can't get past that. Tell me about the Chariot Reverse. Yeah, the Chariot. The moon at the bottom of the deck, exactly. Pisces energy, Cancer energy here. There's a 10 of wands and the ace of wands. So again, I feel like this person has something that's weighing them down or is on like a journey of their own um, that they're just, they're just not there yet. They're still on this, you know, dealing with whatever it is that they're dealing with or on a really long cycle <laughs> and they're not there yet. They're not moving fast enough. This is somebody that's, you know, I think also this person with the moon, they give the illusion that they're moving or taking action, but that's not the truth. The truth is they're weighed down by something or have a lot going on. But, you know, maybe that's why the seven of swords is here because they're probably giving you the illusion that they're moving quickly and taking action and headed in a certain direction but actions speak louder than words let's get some insight into their true intentions towards you what is this person's true intentions towards sagittarius what are their true intentions towards sagittarius spirit what do we need to know what do we need to know what are their true intentions towards Sagittarius? What are their true intentions towards Sagittarius? The horse, movement, freedom, yeah. I feel for this person. I feel like this person, they wanna give you what you want or they want to be happy with you. And they want to make these moves and they wanna be free to make moves and free to take action, but they're not, they're not there yet. They could also be um, hiding something from you. Some of you are dealing with a person who's married and has told you they're gonna get divorced forever, that they're separated. This is very specific, but I'm just, I'm gonna say it because I feel it here. They are separated, the divorce proceedings have started, but they haven't been honest with you in the fact that the papers aren't even drawn up. This is all com conversations that they're having. It's not, there's no actual paperwork filed. There's no actual like going to the courthouse being done. And they've wrote, they, they've strung you along. Some of you, if you're dealing with a person that's married and has told you they're gonna get divorced, run. And that's scary for you because there's nobody else that you're interested. There's nobody else in your sight of vision. Uh, you don't see a future with anybody else. That's not for you to decide. That's not up to you, is what I'm hearing. Some of you, if you're dealing with someone that's promising you a divorce, leave me a comment, let me know, because I think someone's watching this that's dealing with someone like that. This person's on a long, if they, it's not that they're never gonna get divorced, is that it's gonna be years before that's done. 
That could be because of them or because of the court system or because of COVID or whatever, but it's going to be years. You would have to wait years. Okay. That's, that's just for some of you. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Sagittarius hit that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy my readings, how I read and would like to see more, I appreciate all of your support and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.